closed. You don't look the sort who can afford to turn down legitimate work. <coughs> what do you want? How about we start with a light? Yeah, sure, I can do that. Well, you got a name, miss? Elizabeth. Hmm. You can call me Elizabeth. What can I do for you? There's a girl who needs to be found. Maybe you've seen her. This girl. This girl's dead. You know her. You'll see dozens of her type down by the docks or the slums in Apollo Square. Orphans. With Fontaine's charity shut. No place for them. But her you know. As I said, the girl's dead. Lost. Look, I don't know where you get... Lost isn't dead. Name your radar will pay you for this work. But you do this one gratis, wouldn't you? I don't follow. Something tells me you will. Huh. What does she know about Sally? Why does she want to find her so badly? Seems my instincts were correct. Where's Sally? I don't know. But I know someone who does. Follow me. Alright. this girl to you. What I need from her is my business. But I know where to start looking. Something tells me a man with your particular talents could be useful. What happened to these children? Red means what are they? Green where have means you been? Go. Cabin in Arcadia? Little sisters. Know. Atom factories. It's grotesque. Funny. What? You're not knowing about the little sisters. How long have you been in Rapture? Let's just say I don't get out much. You've got eyes and ears, don't you? If I wanted to share my life story, Mr. DeWitt, I would write my memoirs. If I learned anything about Rapture, that it was a place where people understood to mind their own business. Where are we headed? The man we need to see is in the Garden of the Muses. How do you know? My sources are my own, Mr. DeWitt. If you have better information as to the whereabouts of your girl, I suggest you avail yourself of it. Alright. <clears throat> Where are you taking me? When's the last time you saw Sally? What? She was taken from you, wasn't she? How do you know this? She was taken. Down at Surprise. You were playing the tables and... She disappeared. And? A cop friend of mine, Sullivan, says they found her floating in the docks. You see the body? Look. Did you see the body? This world values children, not childhood. There's a profit to be made and men who make it. I'm taking you to one of them. <sighs> Mr. DeWitt, you all right? I'm fine. I get these spells sometimes in the past. Refreshments, sir. Madam? We're fine, thanks. <sighs> Mr. DeWitt, I'll find my source inside of that club. What does that lunatic have to do with Sally? Private party. No entry without invitation. <clears throat> which business do you represent, sir? Uh, business? Yes, which business? DeWitt Investigations. Mr. Cohen does not truck with private detectives. Masks of invitation went to artists and craftsmen alone. I'm with the artist struggle. We're expected... No mask, no entry. Stuff shit. These invitation masks he spoke of, they must have gone out to local artisans. Well, I guess we'll have to persuade someone to loan us one. The business of Rapture is business. It says it's sponsored by the artist struggle, the Golden Rule, and Rapture Records. Because those stores would be as good a place to start as any. All right. What brought you to Rapture? A man. Really? Yeah. Strike me as a romantic type. He wasn't that kind of man. And what? There's a debt that needs repaid. I've known my 
Sheriff Shylock's. You're no Shylock. Wasn't that kind of dead. Invitations to come on shows are highly coveted. Nobody's gonna just hand us one. You think you can figure out a way to distract the store owner while I take a look? You just find the mask. Make the distractions to me. <clears throat> All right. A rapture reminds me. Wonderful to see you. Hello. Uh. Excuse me. The lady has some questions for you. Yes, of course. Interesting, isn't it? The original Sander Cohen. He calls it miasma. I'm sorry, but I know precious little about you. How does Cohen it make sense? Those masks are some kind of box. Oh. So much to think about. I, I feel a trifle swoony. Would you mind if, if I return tomorrow for further education? I shall be here at your service until tomorrow. Welcome. Hello. See that dish I walked in with? Will you give her the star treatment, pal? That'll make it worth your while. Of course, right away. I'm interested in this piece. Ah, excellent. You've an eye, haven't you, miss? It's a natural sapphire and diamond, 18 karat gold ring, fully hallmarked for Paris, 1887. Really? The center Cobachon. Excuse me, sir. That's a lot of fine, fine talk about box. a stolen ring. Right out of her coffin in Twilight. Did you think we oh. Know? Only one place left. Well, at least we got some valuables. Think so. Hit the bricks, you tramp. I'll see to it they hit you. Get you your hands off. Hey, oh. <laughs> Might be best if we were gone when he wakes up. Nothing? No. Nope. Got one place left. And if that proves to be for this. Cross that bridge and get to it. Hey, pal. You want to help out the little lady? Yes, of course. <clears throat> It's by Trinet, but of course, how does he hide in that box? box. Oh, that's not right. Uh, mask, mask. Come on. Oh. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, all right, let's go. Good. Located the mask. Third time to charm. Right. Yeah. Let's head back to Cohen's. Guten Tag, Herr Schmidt. Hello. Find me some work during the shop hours. Get a bit of the drift. For that, you can thank my father. Oh, yeah. He was the man who got you all over my head. So, what kind of field? Field. Yeah, yeah, yeah occupation. I can't imagine what kind of employment would be to tag along a job like this. I suppose you could say I work in debt collection. This better work, otherwise we'll certainly look the fools. Trust me. Yeah, we'll look more than that if if uh, this fails. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Cohen awaits your participation at his performance. Great. So who is this fellow Cohen? Some sort of underworld figure? Worse. He's an artist. An artist who kidnaps children. Cohen's muse is a bit more diverse. I've seen this type. Gets an idea in his head, end a conversation. Don't matter who gets hurt. Be the conduit! Open 
Open yourselves to the music, to the spirit of the eternal. No. Why do you fail in this fashion? To embarrass me in front of my muse? My muse shall not be mocked. Fitzpatrick! Please! The stick! And who for God's sake! <laughs> my muse shall not be mocked! Get them out of here. There shall be no failure on my canvas. <laughs> oh, there's no room in rapture anymore for the artist. Um, hello? Who are you? Uh, Name's DeWitt. Is that right? Yes. This one's a real biscuit. Isn't he a biscuit, ladies? <laughs> Just a few questions. Questions, yes. Yes, it is the work of man to ask. It is the work of the artist to answer. You've seen this girl, haven't you? We artists see more than most. You are more than you claim to be, little song. Are you not? Watch this one, DeWitt. She'll take you where you don't want to go. But I know the child in that photo is important to you. So many children flit, flit, flit away. I know where the girl is. And I will send you to her. In exchange, all I ask is a dance. Uh, what? Dance. What? I see something in you too. Art strips away artifice. Show me who you are, and I will show you where you need to go. Cold, son of a bitch. Mr. DeWitt. What? Dance with me. Come, come, dance. Come on, dance! Feel the music! Feel the I shudder music. to think what greater price he might care to extract. Fitzpatrick! Beauty and pain. They can be no more separated than birth and blood. What do you think Cohen's customers do with the children? Do they? Sometimes. But those types lack the capital of people like Ryan and Sucho. That's a blessing. You saw those little sisters? You so sure? But if Su Chong had Sally, I'd know it. How? As I tied him to a chair and asked him. So? For 15 hours. I don't know what to make of you, Mr. DeWitt. No, 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 no! Listen, we're not gonna keep- Fitzpatrick! What? Ah! I see suffering in you. <laughs> Fine. You were dreaming. You kept saying your daughter's name, Sally. She's not my daughter. I thought. Pain and beauty. Uh. To an artist, they are parent and child. Cohen? I'm sending you to find your young one. <sighs> <laughs> no need to thank me. I'm not so sure you'll like what you find. Huh. Look. Fontaine. Fontaine. Ryan sent the whole thing to the bottom. But it's a prison now. Why would Cohen have sent Sally there? I don't know. Everyone has needs. 
I merely provide a service for those who have the means to pay. You'll find your little bird in the housewares department. How many people do you suppose Ryan's got locked up in that place? Enough. Fontaine had amassed something near an army. Now they're down there, spliced up and wild. All right, there's a dock up ahead. It takes a cold son of a bitch to do that to a living person. No, what's that? Burial at sea. You read your residency contract with Ryan Industries? In perpetuity, we're all buried at sea. This. Seem to be some supplies this way, Mr. DeWitt. It's Booker. What? Just call me Booker. If it's all the same to you. Let's leave it at Mr. DeWitt. <sighs> look up there. Let's have another look around. Perhaps we'll be able to find something to get us up and over. Sky hook. You mean the air grabber? Kids use them to ride around up on the new mobiles. Air grabber? Huh. Constants and variables. Constants and variables. What's that? Never mind. Oh. Alright. Here we go. Oh. Grabber stuck. Mr. DeWitt! Someone's coming! Uh can't exactly oh company man company man all right i got the grabber on jam and i'm planning uh. let you and me talk Sorry. i'm about to unjam you there we go mr duet look what housewares Oh. That's where Cohen said we'd find Sally. The store ran trams between the three buildings. We'll need to avail ourselves of that. Assuming it still works. Optimism, Mr. DeWitt. It helps in situations like this. Yeah, well. Sometimes it just gets you killed. When did you come to Rapture? Oh, it was, uh... Jeez, I guess around... 51? No. 48? That's a rather large gap. Time. Life I had before. Sort of becomes a blur. 49. 49 for sure. <laughs> what? Damn. You look a mess, Mr. DeWitt. Just keep your eyes open for splicers. They can do us a whole lot worse. Here, little birdies. Eat oh. Up. It's good for you, you know. Well, I've never heard of birds that didn't like seeds. What's what's the matter with you? Do, do you think it's poison? Mr. Dewitt, splicers. Let's talk money. Much obliged. There we go. Mr. DeWitt. Huh. Look. Well, there's the train. That splicer had no problem freezing a path for himself before. I'm sure he'll be happy to do the same for us. I have no doubt you'll prove persuasive. Hmm. Mr. DeWitt, look. What? Oh. It'd be good at places any to look for our new friend. It says it's on the top floor. So we go up. Damn thing's locked. Let me see that. Oh, what? The matters progress so little. I could turn this with a rake pick. Done. 
Where'd you learn that? Oh, it's something I picked up a long time ago. Yeah. Our frozen hmm. friend leaves a hell of a trail. Come on. Just let me in, okay? Yes, do it. Uh, Fontaine, he said we're all equal down here now. We're all in the same boat. I just want a taste of some high-class food. Splicers. I don't think they see us. If you keep quiet, maybe you can get a drop on them. Even the odds. Frosties, the jockeys will hand you a thousand volts as soon as look at you. You sound sympathetic. They would be the first sons of bitches who found an answer at the bottom of a bottle. But once you see them go all weak at the knees at the sight of a little sister and all her Adam, they cut a less sympathetic figure. Short circuited. Probably be able to pop it open with a jolt of shock jockey. You familiar with shock jockey? More than you could know. Let's look around. Maybe there's a story I've been ransacked by splicers. Did you hear that? Bullshit, yet. Shock jockey. Why did Ryan lock up all of Fontaine's followers in a department store? He needed somewhere to put Fontaine's button. In. Why not shut down the competition in the bar? But I thought Andrew Ryan was all about free markets and open competition. All those ideas lose their luster when the quarterly earnings come in and you find the other guys eating your lunch. Either way, Fontaine's dead. Nobody gets even a sip on us. I say so. Anyone comes near that bottle without permission is a dead man! Did it. Where's, uh... Oh. This seems right up your alley. Let me see. There you go. Alright. Let's get this over with. Damn it, that son of a bitch drank every last bottle of Old Man Winter. Hey. I think I can help. <laughs> what? Oh. What was, what was that? that? It's a, uh, new plasmid. Let's me... Let's me bring in things that might exist, but uh, don't. I'm not sure I understand. What's it called? Tear. Where'd you find that? You don't expect a girl to share all her secrets, do you, Mr. DeWitt? Huh. Fair enough. Freeze your enemies. Shatter them into a thousand pieces. <laughs> All right. Sounds uh sounds simple enough. All right. All right. I know you're the client and all, but I've gone about far enough without a few answers. My purpose here is none of your concern. 
Consider me a means to an end. Why do I get the feeling I'm being set up? I told you I'm in collections. An account is in arrears. My clients simply want to see matters set to right. Don't make any sense, that's all. If you don't like the arrangement, the bathosphere's back that way. Huh. Well. Uh. Fair enough, then. Done. Oh. She to you. Why risk life and limb? It's part of the job. You owe me no explanation. She's just another orphan. After Fontaine went down, city was lousy with him. And I don't know. You have a reason for every stupid thing you've ever done. He started showing up, looking peaked. More fool me to feed the bride. Should have known she would. How did you lose her? It's none of your business. About you. Doesn't sit right. Yes? Wouldn't peg you as the rapture type. Not even a little. If you mean I have no interest in joining the Andrew Ryan book club, you'd be right. Just another set of fanatics with a different set of books. Huh. I gamble. What? You asked me how I lost Sally. I gamble. Took her somewhere a kid's got no business being. I was winning. A place like that. You don't let a kid out of your sight. But you did. Yeah, and here we are. But the million dollar question is, what's she to you? I have an interest in reuniting you with her. Isn't that reason enough? Hmm. Let's hope Colin was on the level when he said this is where we'd find Sally. I can only imagine what they would do with a child in a place like this. Cohen's halfway to Splice Town. Probably thought putting a child in prison would be high art. The sooner we find her, the better. Yeah. Come on out of here! Sally! Hopper's got all sorts of. The hell? Sally! Come out of there! I can't see her. What are you doing? This is a schematic for the venting system. It shows there are more vents like this one in electronics, the bistro, returns, the book department, and the appliance show floor. So? If she's in there, there are only six vents she can come out of. And now there are five. All these vents are connected to the central heating unit. If we close them off and turn the heat up, She'll be forced out through the central exhaust. It's the only exit. You want to burn her alive? No, we just make it hot enough to flush her out. I can't do that. Look, either we find her, or one of those splicers will. <sighs> All right. Where are the other vents? Up ahead. Hmm. Come on, love. Oh, Mickey just wants to give you a little squeeze. <laughs> Disappoint your old uncle now, do ya? You come out of there! Ain't no fair keeping that tasty Adam locked up in your stomach. Ain't no fair. Quiet, ya yeg. She comes out for the honey, not the vinegar. What's going on, fellas? Is there something I can help you with? Or... Oh. Event? Over there. Alright. Let's close it. Two down. Where to now? It's not working! Where is she? Come on.
Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, next one. Yep. Even your parents are behaving. <laughs> uh, really? You mean it? <laughs> I tried so hard to reduce to fit into this gown. I just wanted to look beautiful for you. <laughs> I don't know if she was dangerous. Just insane. Next time, I'll be sure to ask. Hit. <sighs> there we go. Yep. What is that thing in there? It's a radar range. Never could figure out if the thing's designed to cook a turkey or a splicer. The door's got a key code lock. No way to get in without knowing what it is. Uh, I think I already do. Um, let's see here. Three nine five eight. Three, nine, five, eight. Got it. Uh, there we go. Nice. What you doing here? Oh, you know, just uh, doing some stuff. What are you doing here? Hello. Anyone still alive? Hello? Oh. There we go. S Sally, dear, did you hear me? It's it's me, Booker. Now listen, dear, you come out right now. So to which she's not coming. Now let's get the rest of these vents sealed. It's the only way. <sighs> All right. <clears throat> it's the last one. Where's the exhaust? In the toy department. All right. Locked from the other side. All right. <laughs> I heard a little rat scurry in this way. What's taking so long? I, just, I can't get the. Come on! I'm just, I'm sure. just give me a second. Elizabeth. Hey. Turn up the thermostat if we're gonna flush her out. It's over that way. Fine. The thermostat's right there. Turn the heat up. Not going to burn her. It's the only way to bring her to us. If you won't do it, I will. Just give me the word. <sighs> all right, all right. Turn it up. What? Turn the goddamn thermostat. Oh god. We need to get back to the exhaust before we lose the girl again. Sally. Sally! Sally, come out! It isn't working! I told you she's coming. It isn't working. Damn it. If you turn it off, it's not gonna work. We have to turn it off! She's gonna die! <laughs> Sally! Sally, come up. Sally, it's Booker. It's me. Sally, come on. I'm gonna get you out of here. Sally! Come out here right now! No, 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 no. Sally. What the hell? 
What? Oh! Ah! That's not gonna work. Come here. It's all right, Sally. Is she? Look at Sarah. She, she, she's come to see you. We're going home. Do you want to go home? Come here. Please. Just don't. You're hurting her. She's not your child. She is mine. Let her go! Let her go! She's mine! Is closing. Shut it down! Shut down the machine! You've got to pull her through! Pull. Shut down the machine! No, she's not through! Hurry. Shut it down! No, 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 no. wasn't yours, Comstock. No, no, no. I wasn't. No, no, no. Yet you had to have me, didn't you? No, this isn't right. And when the guilt no. was too much... You turned to us to solve your problem. Uh. To provide a place to go where you might forget. Where there never was an Anna in the first place. Comstock was never one to own up to his errors, was he, brother? Never comfortable with the choices he made. Always seeking someone else's life to claim as his own. Elizabeth. Child. I am so sorry. No, you're not. You're about to be. What? Ah! Oh. 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 